Hey everyone, welcome back to The Tune Project. Today I'll be teaching you how to play the tune Stony Lonesome on the violin, so stay tuned. And as always, if you end up enjoying this video, go ahead and give it a thumbs up below. And if you're not yet subscribed to The Tune Project, I post videos just like this one each and every week. So consider hitting that red subscribe button below along with the notification bell so that you don't miss out on future videos. And if you'd like to take a look at the sheet music for this tune, I'll have the link to my digital sheet music library listed in the description box below. For this tune, we're in the key of D major and we start on the E string. The first phrase goes like this. I like to play the high A and E both on an up bow for effect, and you're welcome to do the same if you like that style. The next phrase starts exactly the same way, but it ends a little bit differently, so listen for that. All right, so instead of ending on open E that time, we came down to an open A. And this third phrase also starts the same way as the first and second phrases, but again has a different ending to both of them. So ending on an F sharp there, and then we go up a half step to G to start the next and final phrase of this A section. So you may have noticed we had a triplet there in that phrase, which I like to slur on an up bow, and you're welcome to do the same. So that was the whole A section, and the form of this tune is A, A, B, B, so we would go back and repeat that A section, but for now, let's go ahead and play it together. One, two, three, four. <laughs> So you may have noticed that time through as we connected all of those phrases that I added a lift in between each of those phrases at those transitional points. And that was just so that I could end up on a down bow for the start of each phrase. That's obviously not the case for very many tunes in general, but in this tune in particular, I do like to make sure that I'm starting on a down bow for each phrase so that I can have that double up bow effect for the second and third notes of each of those phrases. And the lift doesn't have to be anything super big. You don't have to come up super high off of the string, but just something subtle to get you back to that down bow starting point. So getting into this B section, we're gonna be starting on a down bow on open A. <laughs> And that time we had a lift in the middle of the phrase, so feel free to add that in as well. And for this next one, we'll start on our third finger G on the D string, and it sounds like this. Okay, so the rhythm was basically the same as that first phrase of the B part. We just added a couple extra notes at the end. Another thing worth noting here in this phrase is we have a C natural. So in our key signature, obviously we have a C sharp, but here we have an accidental. So make sure that you are bringing that second finger all the way down to a C natural for that. And this third phrase starts the same way as the first phrase of the B section, but it ends with a walk up to the E string. So listen for that. So ending on that F sharp, and then we're gonna go up a half step to G for the start of this last phrase of the B section. So same exact ending for both sections. Hopefully you caught that. And now, just like we did for the A part, let's go ahead and play this B section together now that we have all of those notes and rhythms. One, two, three, four. <laughs>
congratulations for learning all of Stony Lonesome with me today. I really hope you enjoyed that tune. It's a great one and really not played as often as it should be. So hopefully you have fun with that. Thanks so much for watching and I look forward to seeing you in the next video. Happy practicing. If you've made it this far, you must have enjoyed the video, so why not check out this one next? Also, if you'd like exclusive content from the Tune Project and a more personalized experience, head over to Patreon and join our wonderful little fiddle community. Your support helps me to continue to grow as a creator and ensures that I'm able to continue to provide free educational content here on YouTube. Thank you!